uh, you had a uh, you had a fight for our freedoms college tour, yeah. and you talked to over fifteen thousand college students to expand upon all of the urgent issues that concerned us as a people. And you've been traveling across the country doing a lot of other things. And just recently, after addressing the epidemic of gun violence and women's rights, reproductive rights, and all of this that seem to be have taken away, uh, you've launched an economic opportunity tour. So tell us a little bit about this tour and why you launched it. So I'll start by talking about where we are right now. So this hotel, many may know, was, was referred to as the Hotel of Hope. This was the only hotel that allowed Dr. King to speak. And it was here, in this very ballroom, that Dr. King gave one of his last speeches. I think it was the last one in his um, Poor People's Campaign, talking about, of course, what he was on the verge of doing, which was to merge the civil rights movement um, with which is, of course, a movement about justice with the movement around economic justice. And it was shortly after he was here that he was assassinated. And so the symmetry of being here as the first black vice president of the United States to talk about the importance of economic opportunity for the community is something that um, I feel very strongly about. And so I'm doing this tour. Thank you. So I'm doing this tour mostly because I believe that for, for those of us who do the kind of work that, that our administration is doing, that President Biden and I are doing, in order for it to be real, it's got to hit the streets. And the only way that that will happen in a meaningful way is if the people are aware of what is available to them and then take advantage of that. So I wanted to come and speak to 100 black men, to this organization, because I know who everyone here is. This is a room full of leaders of every age who can help get the word out about what we have made available because it's so important people take advantage of what's available. So I'm doing this tour to one highlight the importance of speaking truth about the obstacles that have existed for access to capital, for home ownership, for black folks, and what we are doing to actually deal with those obstacles in a way that we create opportunity. I'm going to talk a little bit about that in a minute. So for example, what we're doing around reduction of debt, debt forgiveness, what we are doing to address the racial wealth gap as it relates to a number of issues, including access to capital for our small businesses and entrepreneurs, um, what it means in terms of housing discrimination, and the work that we need to do and will continue to do to address those issues. And really, the, the essence of this tour is, is born out of a belief that people need more than just what is, what is necessary to get by. We want to get ahead. And we know that it is important that we have reduced black unemployment to historic lows. But that's a baseline, which is that people have a job. In our community, we also have ambition aspirations, incredible ideas, and the division between that and actually being able to put it to use is often about access to the relationship to the capital that can take us from those good ideas to creating a business, starting a business, growing a business. So that's why I'm doing this tour. 